Think of it this way. If you had a binary choice between understanding a single part of the universe or the whole of the universe, but no individual single part, which would you choose? So for example, if you're a mathematician, you could say, I want to understand all of mathematics perfectly. And if I was like a magic genie, I could just grant that wish to you right now. But if you understand all of mathematics perfectly, you won't understand physics. You won't understand cosmology. You won't understand philosophy. You won't understand relationships. You won't understand anything else. Just math. Or you pick, you could pick to understand all of physics or all of uh, economics or all of psychology. Or you could wish for understanding the entire thing without understanding any particular one. Which would you choose? Can you see why it's wiser to choose the whole rather than any particular part? See? There's a trade-off between understanding something in detail and understanding it from the big picture. The more big picture you're understanding, the less detail you have. The more detail you have, the less big picture understanding. It's sort of like zooming in or out of the earth. You can zoom all the way out of the earth and you will see the entire thing. But you won't see the ants on it. You won't even know there are ants on it. Or you can zoom into the earth, get all the way close to the ground and you'll see the ants. But all you'll see is the ants and you won't even know that there's an earth that they're on. So holism is zooming out. Although, of course, understand that these are not necessarily in opposition to each other. You can do both. But practically speaking, your human life and your resources are limited. So you have to be selective about which one is more important to you. Because you can't zoom in on everything. Also, notice that there's an interesting uh, asymmetry here. Is that when you zoom out, you only really zoom out once to see the whole Earth. Whereas to zoom into the earth, you can zoom in on a million different things. You can zoom in on an ant, on a cow, on a human, on a turtle. You can keep zooming in on a thousand different things. And you will still be infinitely far away from understanding the earth. But if you zoom out, that's a, you see, that's a single operation. It kind of works like a cone. As it converges, it converges into a single unity. Whereas as it diverges, it diverges into an infinite uh, number of perspectives. So there's something powerful about the ultimate holism because you get, you actually zoom out so far that you, you grasp the whole thing, even though you don't understand all the details. And that's what omniscience in a sense is. So I want you to notice that there are two ways that you can use your thoughts. You can use thoughts to divide reality and you can use thoughts to unite your reality. Uh, and we, in our education, in our culture, are biased towards divisive type of thinking. So I could go around saying, oh, that's a, that's a monkey, that's a giraffe, that's a rhinoceros, and they're all separate creatures. I could think of them that way. Or I could say, oh, that's a monkey, that's a giraffe, that's a rhinoceros, they're all the same sorts of creatures, they're all part of life, they're all part of a single ecosystem. Divisive versus unitive thought. Uh, take notice which kind of thought you use most of the time. For example, those are white people, those are black people, those are yellow people, those are um, Jews, those are Christians, those are Muslims, and they're all different. Or we can start to recognize how much they have in common. Which type of thinking do you think leads to more peace and which leads to more conflict and war? And which one do you want? Do you want peace or do you want conflict and war? How about in your relationships? Do you want to notice how much you two have in common or how much you disagree? And which do you think will lead to more fights? And which do you think will lead to more sex? And which do you want, fights or sex? It's important to recognize that all thought is fundamentally dualistic and incomplete. 
even unitive types of thinking. Still very good. Much better than divisive, I would suggest. But even unitive thinking, even the most holistic of thinking is still thinking, and thinking is inherently dualistic. Every thought divides reality in some way. Because every thought is a division within reality. Even a holistic thought is still divisive. It's still only a part of the whole. It's not the whole. You can't use the part to grasp the whole. But still, there are degrees of quality to thought. Not all thought is equally good. So, what I'm suggesting is that you incrementally increase the quality of your thinking, make it more holistic, more integrative, more unitive, without surrendering your ability to do analysis. Analysis is still important. So you got to have that flexibility. And then eventually you want to get so high in your holism that you recognize that even thought itself is too limited and too unholistic, and then you're able to transcend thought itself. And the highest holism doesn't occur within thought. It occurs within consciousness. The highest holism is infinite consciousness, which is beyond thinking. But even though I say that, thinking is still important because we don't really have an option in our society but to think. And therefore, it is important to talk about the different qualities of thought and improving your thought. So we're talking about holistic thinking here. If you want to talk about holistic consciousness, I've talked about it in other episodes. Uh, you get there through meditation, through yoga, through psychedelics. You don't, you don't um, get there through thinking so much. But holistic thinking is still a good place to start. See, the more holistic your understanding, the better you can manipulate systems towards health and the highest good without them boomeranging on you. So we can't create a healthy society without thinking. And we can't create a healthy society without holistic understanding of the systems we're dealing with. 